The more technology advances, the larger our file sizes get, and the smaller our hard drives are getting. So today, we're looking at online cloud storage. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be comparing Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox. These three have been the kings of cloud storage for a little while now, and they are definitely the mainstream cloud storage solutions. But what makes them different, what makes them great, and which one should you choose for your personal reasons and why? Today, we're gonna to compare them in depth, see what they do, see what features they have, see how much they cost, and decide which one is the best for you. So if we look at this from a three column grid, it's Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox. Each of these devices gives you a free amount of data that you can basically test out the software and see if you like it or not. Dropbox comes in with the least amount of data. It gives you two gigabytes for free, whereas Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes for free whilst OneDrive comes in the middle with five gigabytes. Based on storage alone, and if that's the only thing you're looking for, Google Drive is definitely the clear winner here because it provides you with 15 gigabytes of free storage under one email account. You don't have to go and create a million different email accounts to try get some more storage out of it like you would in Dropbox. If you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time at the computer and you rack up your file size pretty quickly. So two gigabytes is definitely not enough for you for free and 15 gigabytes only lasts a few weeks. If you're looking to upgrade to the next category, it might cost you a little bit, but not as much as you might think. The one reason I suggest cloud storage to a lot of people with small laptops is for the simple fact that it removes a lot of data from your computer, frees up space and makes it run faster. So if you have a MacBook Air, for example, with 126 gigabytes of storage or 128 gigabytes of storage, I think it is, that's not a lot of storage to install apps, programs, and have your personal data, especially if you like to take a lot of photos. Moving up to 100 gigabytes of data is relatively cheap and affordable for most people around the world. Now, for some people that could be a very false statement, but I'm hoping it, this series here isn't too unaffordable for most people. So if we look at it and break it down for 100 gigabytes of storage per month, Google Drive charges you $2.49 Australian, whilst OneDrive charges you $3 flat Australian. Dropbox unfortunately doesn't offer anything in between two gigabytes and the next jump is two terabytes. So we'll get there a little bit later on. Google Drive's advantage, again over OneDrive and Dropbox, is the fact that it has an incremental leap at 200 gigabytes for $4.29 per month. I don't know what it is with Google and these odd numbers, but it seems to work for them. OneDrive steps it up to one terabyte at $10 a month, which is definitely a leap up and becomes unaffordable for some people. The great thing about OneDrive though at this $10 a month bundle is the fact that you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and basically the Office 365 suite included in this monthly package. So programs that you're more than likely gonna use all the time or already use all the time are included in this bundle. Yes, Google Drive does give you Google Docs and Google Sheets and all of the Google comparisons for absolutely free in this, and it does suck you in with that for sure. Dropbox, on the other hand, has introduced a new paper feature, which again, gives you these sort of collaboration, practicality um, type templates that you can use for Word style documents, Excel style documents, and just to collaborate with your team. So each one of them does have their own unique office administrative tools if you're looking at using something for your business or your personal life. So going back to Google Drive and back to Dropbox, you can get two terabytes respectively at $12.49 and $18.69 per month. Now let's get into what really separates these platforms. What makes them different and unique and it doesn't make them just a cloud storing solution. So all three of these platforms share some unique features. For example, they give you desktop folders directly inbuilt into your browser. Chrome, which means you don't have to open up Google Chrome or Safari every time, go to OneDrive, Google Drive, download your files, upload them, that's just a huge pain. All three of them allow you to install an app into your computer, which then allows you to access your files directly off the computer itself as if it was stored on your computer. Where it gets interesting for me 
is the fact of how these programs allocate and install their software into your computer. Google Drive, for example, saves everything to your hard drive, which is fantastic because it's a local backup of your cloud storage solution. OneDrive doesn't. OneDrive saves everything to the cloud and downloads it as it needs to unless you choose otherwise. And Dropbox does the same as Google Drive. Now this is a personal choice and a personal preference. I do like having everything saved to my hard drive because it's a local backup. But at the same time, I do like the fact OneDrive has the feature of pushing everything to the cloud and only grabbing it when you need to. This means you save a lot of space on your hard drive, especially if you don't have any space at all. All of these cloud sharing platforms allow you to share these folders with absolutely anybody via a link or an email address. So if you wanna collaborate with another person, get them to share files with you that are too big for email, this is the best way to get them to drop these files into these folders. You can save absolutely any file, it doesn't matter what it is. You can't open every single file without a program built into it, but you can save them into that storage solution. All of them provide offline features, which is where you can download it to your computer, use it absolutely any time, or download it to your mobile device via the app, and store it again on your device and look at it any time. They all have amazing search features inside them which allow you to quickly search for the file and find it very, very quickly. If you're a Windows user, you're definitely used to a slow search history, whereas Macs are much, much quicker with this. So if you're a Mac user, you're used to being able to search for a file, finding it instantaneously. That's what you're gonna get on these cloud storage solutions. And one of my favorite features on all three of these is the fact that it saves versions of your files. So if you override a file, for example, and usually on a Windows or a Mac computer, you'd save it, you'd override it, and you'd go, oh no, I can't get this file back, it's gone forever, or you have to do a software recovery, a file recovery, and it's a nightmare. With a cloud storage solution, you can easily go to that cloud storage solution and find the old file from up to 30 days ago and bring it back. So if you've overwritten a file accidentally, named it the wrong thing and overwritten something, you can easily undo your mistakes. From an encryption point of view and a data security point of view, all three are obviously encrypted with your password so nobody can access it until they know your password or unless they hack your password. OneDrive takes this a step further and provides you with a personal vault, they call it, inside OneDrive so you can actually store uh, additional files that you consider extremely private, so for example a passport or a driver's license, inside the personal vault. And if you're using it on a mobile device, it can only be accessed via biometrics, so your thumbprint, your face, etc. This file is definitely something to consider if you have a lot of personal files, because neither Google Drive or Dropbox allow added layers of security like OneDrive does. If they're PDFs or Word documents, you can obviously password protect them over and above your original password. I always suggest having multiple passwords, different passwords for everything from a cybersecurity point of view. What you do, absolutely your choice. Now, if you're a business user or a business professional that has a website and an at yourwebsite.com.au, .com, whatever it is, email address, you probably have access to either Google or Outlook through this provider. If you do have a business profile, for example, Google gives you up to 30 gigabytes for free, whereas Microsoft OneDrive, if you purchased it through the right channels and through the right domain names, gives you one terabyte and an access to all their Office 365 products. So again, from a business point of view, really, really good to have either Google Drive or OneDrive. Now this is where it really, really sets it apart, for me especially. Google Drive, like I mentioned before, has Google Sheets and Google Docs. OneDrive has Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Now, for me, I use a lot of Word documents, a lot of Excel documents when I'm not using 3D rendering programs or architectural design programs. These things usually can't be run on my mobile device, on an iPad, or any small portable personal device. They have to be run off a powerful laptop and a powerful computer. So it doesn't bother me that I can't open them up on a cloud storage solution. What does bother me is the fact that with Google Drive, for example, I can't directly open up my Excel document, edit it, save it, be done. I have to download it, change it, re-upload it. Or I have to create a Google Sheets, for example. Whereas with OneDrive, it's a very simple procedure. 
Now, this is coming from me personally because I've obviously grown up using 365 platform. I've grown up using Word and Excel, so I use them all the time. The last 20 odd years of data for me are in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. So it's very easy for me to go, OneDrive is the best platform if you're using Office 365 products. And personally, it is just that simple. If you're not using Office 365 products, all three are fantastic. The best one for price, affordability, features and everything in between is definitely Google Drive. So if you aren't using 365 products and you're happy to use Google Sheets and Google Docs instead of Word and Excel, then Google is definitely one of the better cloud storage solutions here for usually half the price. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that subscribe button 2020 style. And being Friday today, more quarantine content coming very soon. So I'll see you on Monday.